So people, I was making this camp stove when I came across with this badass worm. This is the new invasive species which has invaded many a continents after it left its native place, New Guinea. So this, of course, is the New Guinea flatworm, the Platydemus manuacri, and this badass worm is a natural predator of mollusks, invertebrates, and small uh, mollusks and smaller invertebrates, and it has a very voracious habit of feeding, and it has become quite uh, dis well distributed across Indian continent. Recently, it was also being reported that France is at an alert because this has been found there. So this is a small worm, a flat worm. It walks, it crawls like an earthworm, but its body is non-segmented and it raises its uh, hood just like that, like a snake. And for comparison, you can have that ant to measure for. This is a badass worm because this contains one of the deadliest toxins that we also come to find in the figo fish, the fugo fish. Uh, the tetradotoxin and it's uh, it is this toxin that makes it so dangerous uh, it immobilizes the prey when it finds them and then consumes them at leisure and it has known to be a, a, a reason for even eradicating po smaller uh, populations of snails in gardens and uh, small localities so friends, whenever you see this worm, just make sure that you don't touch it by your bare hands or skin. Just pick it up on a twig or something and discard it in a safe place. Right, once again, we get a look at the body. See how it's moving, like raising its hood. Probably you can see it this way from a distance. You see that it forms a loop like that raises its hood as if trying to find some place to go and then appears to be like a blind worm, blind snake and then drags the entire body behind. So a top view. Two dark chocolate brown streaks running along the body which is very shiny and appears to be in very smooth but don't touch it. That's the reason why it's a flat worm. It's like a small band of ribbon. Now for you to make a size comparison, though we had already got an idea with an ant, but even since the ants have various species, I'll just put something else here. I put this compass and a needle for comparison. This is the general thickness of this bad firm. Pick this up and uh, I'm not sure but I'm just intrigued how it feeds on snails so I'll be going searching for some snail uh, though it doesn't seem very uh, humble on my part but one interesting fact I would like to tell how it searches snails despite being such a small moving slow moving creature is that uh, it trails. Uh, you, have seen, you must have noticed that the snails leave a trail uh, behind when they move. And this fellow, it smells that trail and follows that uh, snail by its trail and finally grabs it. And one bite is adequate to paralyze the prey, which it later on consumes at leisure. Even this worm, when it is moving, it is leaving a small trail. Let me try to get a view of it. If it if it is possible 
though I can see but it's this camera is not capturing it as such a small trail of uh, just like what you find with the uh, with the mollusks probably you can see this little bit of this trail this trail thing No, it's very difficult just like what a mollusk leaves behind this fellow does the similar thing probably it's a way by which it uh, gets a good addition to the surface it's walking being a very flat worm without any appendages to propel it easily so friends i'll go hunt for a snail a slug and see whether how it if it is interested in uh, hunting it so if it does, I'll share that video also. Bye for now.